Hey, what's going on guys? Check out the wingspan on this kit. This is the latest kit out from Nuke Matrix and their Mecha Musume line here. This is the Hurricane Assault Revenger Prototype Jaeger. Quite the name, but as you can see, it's quite the kit. Very impressive, really cool wings and everything on this one. Let's go ahead and check it out in today's review. All right, guys, so we'll start off taking a look at the box and its contents. Once again, I have some very cool box art here for this one showing the model design. And in a quite big and hefty box, so you know you got a lot of stuff in the kit here this time once again. Really nice box presentation here once again with your illustration being all in this nice gloss finish a set against that matte black background there. It looks really nice here on the box. We got all of our text over here, Amelia Hartman, CF03, Cyberforest03, Fantasy Girls, Hurricane Assault, Revenger, Prototype, Jaeger, Full Action Plastic Model Kit. Yeah, just some very nice artwork there on that just to give you a close up look. You can see like all the decals and everything on there, part of the design. On the sides of the box, we got the same thing there, the Nuke Matrix, Fantasy Girl markings. And on the top of the box, here's a look at what the kit is going to look like. Obviously a painted sample there, giving you a look at all the different features and gimmicks. You've got the Falcon remote blade, the OMG orbital cannon, which is pretty cool. There's a look at how she's going to look there without the helmet on, so you have the helmet or just regular head as options for that. Some different gimmicks and poses here of the kit. Obviously, if you have learned anything from the first two releases, you know that they are really gimmick heavy. There's a lot that you can do with these kits. Here on the bottom side is a look at just the base form of the kit with its usual clear parts and a very cool uh, kind of cyborg looking body there. So there's a look at those, some of the range of movement of those parts and with some weapons, very cool. Let's go ahead, pop open the box. And like I said, we've got a lot of stuff in here, including the first run exclusive set of red clear parts. So typically the kit has orange clear parts. That's how you can see the kit in the box or everything on the outside of the box. But the first run version also includes some parts in red. So you'll have those for an option. All of the rest of the runners we'll take a look at here in a moment. Go ahead and get a look at the manual here first, which just features the same artwork that we saw on the outside of the box there. Um, that just wraps around there onto the back side. On the inside, some more here about the character. That's all there in Chinese for the personal profile. But again, just some look at some different face options. You have a kind of like regular face, an angry scratched face with some blood dripping there, and then a very angry yelling face. So those are gonna be your face options there. Some close up details of, looks like an unpainted sample of the base form of the kit and some more photographs similar to what we saw on the outside of the box there. Next page is going to be getting into our parts list. Like I said, a lot of parts here for this, a lot of construction through the different base form and then the fully armored form. And then at the back here, we've got some more photographs of the fully armored form. And again, this always proves to be a really good source material for posing your kits. So you just look at some of the example photos here in the back and there with some of the effect parts and everything without the helmet. You got some poses there and it all looks very cool. Let's go ahead and, oh wait, before we check out the runners, we need to see here on the last page is just your decal guide. So where all the decals are gonna go. So very nice, we're gonna have plenty of those. Let's go ahead and dig those out. So we've actually got two sheets of water slide decals. One is gonna be for the figure. This is going to include a lot of different eye decals, as you can see, and also some different mouth decals and some like blushing cheeks decals. So you have even more options rather than just what you have pre-printed on the faces. You can make some different expressions just using some of the decals here if you opted to use those. And the decals here for the armor seem to be mostly all in white. So you have a bunch of different just like caution markings and just little like uh, white striping decals and stuff that'll go around on the armor. Some of our individually wrapped stuff is going to include your standard base plate for your display base. You got some hand options in here which seem to include holding hands, closed fists, open expressive hands, peace sign hands, trigger finger hands. Got your hair parts here, which seem to be in a soft plastic once again. We had this in a previous kit. I was not really that big of a fan of it, but we'll see how it looks on this kit. And then our pre-printed faces here. We got one, two, three of those packaged separately. Getting into the runners, here is our A runner, which is gonna be in the main dark blue color that uh, most of the runners are gonna be in, but not all, we got two of these. Then we've got runner B and B1 for some more parts here in that dark blue color. Runner C, we've got two of. This is going to be in a very nice gunmetal color here for some of the robotic parts of the body. 
Runner D is back to that dark navy blue. We've got two of this D runner. Same thing for runner E here. We've got two of these, but they are slightly different. There's a couple of extra pieces here on the bottom of one of the E runners. They're not exactly the same. Some more dark blue armor pieces here on runner F. And once again, we've got two of these. And then runner F1 gonna be our last few bits of dark blue armor pieces. Runner G1 is back to that nice metallic gunmetal color here for some of the mechanical parts. We've got two of those. We've also got two of Runner G2 here for some more parts. Runner H1, a small one here in a dark gray plastic, mostly for wrist joints there it looks like. Runner J is going to be some clear parts for the stand. Some more gunmetal parts here for Runner K1. We've got two of those and then we've also got a Runner K2 and a K3 for some more mechanical parts. Runner L here is going to be all of our skin tone parts for the kit, including your blank faces in case you wanted to use one of these faces and use some of the water slide decals with that. Then we get into some of our clear parts. So here's runner M2. The clear orange is what you're going to get with the kit as standard. The clear red are the exclusive parts, so you can see the difference between those. Runner N is a much larger runner here, and again we have it in, in this case in both clear orange and in clear red. And then runner N1 is going to be our third and final runner of the different clear parts there for the main body. We have some more clear parts here with runner T1 and T2 as T1 is in clear yellow for a bunch of effect parts which look very nice and T2 is in plain clear for some more of like the effect parts for holding the different accessories and things like that. So we'll see how all that looks in a moment but that's it for the runners. All right guys, here is the kit all put together and it's pretty impressive. A couple of things to note that uh, the wings of the kit itself are probably like 50 or more 60% of the entire kit. So putting together the wings took quite a while compared to everything else going on here. But they look pretty amazing and there's some really interesting stuff going on with the other limbs of the kit down in the feet and then with the arms as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at it in closer detail here. First of all, just getting the obvious out of the way, the base here, and we have a few different extension pieces for the base. We'll kind of come back to that once we talk about the effect parts and how those are used. But as for the legs here, how you can kind of transform the legs, you can see the feet are basically our claws folded up there, but it actually starts up here in the knee. And because the body is so heavy, I'm just gonna remove that here first, but the knee kind of extends out like that, kind of folds out, and then you can fold that like so. So ultimately the bend should be all the way like that, which is very cool. Down here for the toes, I'm gonna fold those front parts back first. Anyway, long story short, once you keep turning stuff around and flipping things around, you end up with this pretty cool looking claw there like that. And aside from this very nice knee bend like that, then you can also bend the entire foot forward like that to give you kind of that bird shaped articulation there at the legs. So that looks pretty cool. Yes, as for the arms, as you can see, we have gun arms and you actually can do a couple of weird different things so basically you have four wings so you can have two sets of wings on the back or you can actually replace the arms with a set of wings so you can have like one set of wings that are attached onto the backpack and the other set of wings that are attached onto like into our arm socket here doing something like that or you could just omit the ones at the back and just have her to have wings for arms only and for the gun arms this whole part actually kind of extends out you can again just do a lot of rotating of stuff here extend that all the way out like that if you wanted to but if you wanted just regular arms you cannot do that and you can attach just the regular kind of cyborg arms here right up into that like so or we have the flesh tone upper arm here which uses a ball joint instead of a peg and that's for plugging into the unarmored version of the torso which just looks like that. There is also this kind of collar piece which just rests around there like so. I'll give you guys a look at how the kit looks in its sort of unarmored state later on but there's a look at the torso. And on a quick note on that you actually have either full skin tone or full silver parts for this middle section here. I went for silver in the middle and skin tone on the sides but you could make it all one or the other or you could make it opposite to what I have it here however you might want to do that. But yes back to the gun arm. If you didn't want to use the gun you can actually remove that and then this can actually be just a handheld gun if you're going to use the regular hands you can just use that in the hand like so and so of course you have two of those for both of the arms and instead you can attach one of these missile pods and we have four of these so you can just attach one onto there like that and the actual door does open up like that and you have two different types 
one type with like one large missile and another type with three smaller missiles and you have four of each of those pieces so you can make all four of your missile pods large or all four of them small i did two and two what we can do here with the connection piece is also attach multiples of these together you could have two of them on each arm something like that doesn't look too bad so you have lots of options with the arms and aside from being able to put the wings into the arm sockets then you could then put the arms the mechanical arms into the sockets there in the back as well so there's kind of a lot of different things you could do mixing and matching those around going back to the legs momentarily here is your kind of unarmored which is actually just the kind of like cyborg legs but these are the same type of legs that we've seen with the past nuke matrix kits these are a little bit different with this side piece i think is like kind of the only main difference also this part down here at the bottom you can make that in either just uh, dark grayish silver gunmetal there or the, use the clear part. And the same for this part here, like kind of for the toe, you have both versions of that. And again, just a reminder to you guys that if you get the first run exclusive version of this, then you do get all your clear parts in orange, also here in red if you wanted to use those. I went for orange just because that's how it is like on the box. It's like the official colors of it. But if you did want to use the red parts, I think those would also look pretty cool. Now, the only other option parts here for the body, aside from different hand option parts and face option parts, is just your alternate head, which is the helmet head. Does look pretty cool, I think. That does have a pretty interesting design of that. Nice mix of the use of different colors and everything on there with the clear orange parts, making for some nice highlights on there. Most of the rest of our accessories here are just gonna be effect parts. So you have a bunch of these effect part connection pieces, basically four rounded ones like this with points of articulation at each end, and then four straight pegs like this. So you can plug these in all around the outside edge of the base here using these pieces that connect onto the base wherever you might want to have those. I just have one of them on here at the moment, but you can attach this onto the side of the base wherever. Or you have two of just these freestanding pieces that you could plug one of these effects effect arms into. And that's just gonna work like that. And then of course our four of these blast effect parts and a couple of related connection pieces here for that, but the blast effects look really cool. These are gonna be for your four feathers which are located here on what is essentially the tail of the kit and take that off, connect it to a connection piece, plug your effect part into the back of there like that and then have this set on the stand separately so that it's looking like it's kind of blasting along there and that looks really cool. So finally then making our way back around to the wings. As I said, there's a lot of parts and a lot of stuff going on with the wings here. This little kind of fan section here can be flipped and there is like a front and a back side. It does kind of go one way instead of the other. So just make sure you're paying attention to that. You have loads of articulation basically you can this little peg at the main connection point can move up and down. You can rotate that, you can rotate that this way. This little part at the bottom is on a little ball joint. You can rotate this up and down here. And then the feathers kind of as it were can extend out. So those are geared so that they all move in conjunction like that. And you can, as you can see, you can move this whole section like that. And then each of these little clear parts in here also you can kind of change the angle of them to have them kind of like angled a little bit out. It's not gonna be super noticeable, but you can see you can kind of change the angle of those left and right a bit like that. So basically just there's a lot that you can do with this kit and I feel like it's a better use of our time for me to just show you a bunch of examples here, a bunch of different poses and a bunch of different ways that you can mix and match the parts around switching out the arms and the wings and the different limbs that you have available and what you can do with those limbs. Obviously the wings are essentially, I mean, they're very cool and have a lot of stuff built into them. They're essentially just wings. They're not necessarily a lot that you can do with them other than just making the kit look cool as having a cool set of wings, either two wings or four wings, however you might want to outfit it. The legs obviously have the gimmick built into them that they sort of transform into the claws and then the arms there's some really cool stuff that you can do with that by you know completely omitting the arms if that's what you wanted to do or you know having the arms attached onto the backpack or having the wings as the arms a lot of different stuff and then you have the tail and you can use the bits of the tail to fly out separately as well, like uh, separate remote weapons or you could opt to go really simple and having just the base kit you know with just it's kind of as i'm calling it sort of cyborg limbs just the basic arms and legs for that but it's a really awesome kit guys i gotta say i was very impressed with this while i was building the wings i built the wings first before i built the rest of the kit because i knew they were going to be pretty complicated and i didn't want to save it towards the end of the build i feel like i might kind of be getting tired you know 
it's sort of that uh, fatigue, you know, when you're building your kit and you get to like the weapons, usually you save to the end and you're kind of getting a little bit burnt out on the building process. Because of that, I built the wings first and it certainly took quite a while to put the wings together. They're definitely a very impressive aspect of this build. But let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about the third installment in this line from Nuke Matrix? I think this line is really proving itself to be very interesting and certainly giving you a lot of value. I think there's a lot that you can do with these. It's sort of similar to the Megami device kits in that aspect that it just really feels like there's a you have so many options of what you can do with the kit just with, with what you have in the box and that's been consistent throughout the line with the first two releases as well i mean overall the details pretty nice the color separation i think like could be a little bit better but overall there's lots of detail there so i mean if you really wanted more details and more, as ter in terms of like the colors and stuff there's obviously plenty of room for you to go in and just paint them in yourself this kit makes really good use of just a lot of different accessories and option parts and things effect parts and the included stand is nice and all that so another really great kit in the line gotta say highly recommend it if you guys are interested in checking out the kit for yourself the link to usa gundam store will be down in the video description below you can check it out there and again, if you guys have questions, feel free to let me know down in the comment section. But thank you so much for checking out the video today. If you'd also like to like and subscribe to see more, feel free to do that. It's greatly appreciated. But until next time, guys, hope you all have a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.